gang, Jack Allaire here, and uh, we're not talking about video games today, uh, just because I stumbled across something and I just kind of have to share it, uh, because it's it's so weird that I thought I would share, especially considering I can't really find much on it. Um, it is talking about uh, something legendary from the past, known as a bag phone. That's right, a phone inside a bag. Now. Why is this weird, you may ask, when most of us have phones in our pockets? Uh, this is from 1995, which is the year that I graduated high school. Uh, which, let's see, uh, at that time, uh, anybody who had a, a phone was either some weird worker that was on call all the time, like a doctor, or uh, an absolute rich douchebag. But, you know, times have changed. We all have computers in our pockets. Uh, we're living in the future, as one of my friends uh, likes to say. But uh, the bag phone was an interesting sidestep in that we didn't miniaturize anything, really. We just kind of like put all the stuff together and went, hmm, that's really weird to carry around. What if we put it in a bag and we plug it into the car? So we'll be moving to the uh, mobile studio, otherwise known as the truck. And we'll take a look at uh, this little beauty here. We'll open it up. Let's go. Okay, so here we are out in the mobile studio, aka the truck. One of the things I want to start with is why it's called a bag phone. Now, a bag phone uh, is a phone in a bag. Oh, Velcro. Um, there is the price I bought it for, a whopping $5. The plastic on the phone cable has started to peel off. The interesting thing is the way that it is attached is that there are little hooks here that actually hook it to the bag. So this is meant to be in here. Uh, there is the antenna. It's a Motorola Ameritech, and I will put the, the, the model number below because it's super obnoxious. I'll also show a picture of it. Your keys which are on a separate base, and it's also got a speaker, which is unique mostly for bag phones. Most of these buttons would be on here, and then this would just be the receiver and everything. Um, the receiver pops out. Uh, there, I think that's probably the phone number that it was. You've got uh, your earpiece, mouthpiece, and everything is held together uh, with Torx or star bits. Now the way that you put hang it up is it's got the little pushy thing here and a little clip there. So you put it in, push it down. Uh, for any of you radio people out there, you will know what this connector is. It is a normal radio jack that I have seen from my CBs and whatnot, but I can never remember what it's actually called. There you go. So now any of you who have dealt with uh, CBs and antennas and whatnot will probably be like, oh yeah, that's the, the, the CJ22 connector comes out of there and it looks like a normal uh, connector that you would find inside a computer. Maybe if I got my power supply out of mothballs, I would be able to do it. How does this get power? It gets power through the, uh, what's it called now? Accessory port, it used to be called the cigarette lighter. I have a picture of this so I'll give you a better view while I'm plugging this in. Now, I don't know what any of these numbers mean. I get that, and I get no service. And I don't know if that's a five or an S. I do know I can push function and eight and function up. This increases the volume or lowers the volume. Okay, so it turns on, the numbers light up, in case you can't tell. There you go. Pick up the receiver. And you go, uh, five. And I don't know. I'll try and get that to record, but it's just, you know what? I forgot. This has got speaker, so. And that's coming right out of here. So we can't call and find out what time it is. Does anyone know if that still works? One of the more other interesting things is that this 
connector uses what you looks like it looks like it would be an ethernet connector or a RJ45 maybe I don't remember but it is just a little bit thinner thinner so here are the numbers that are on the back now the the times that I have found this it is the the 19 uh, 133 WAJSA Sun 220 2200 AA. Now it is in working, well, I say working condition as, far, as much as I can confirm. So I am leery of tearing it apart. So see these little grooves right here? These just snap around. Ah, come here. Just snap around like this. This is really hard to do with one hand. That's what she said. There we go. So now it's locked in, nice and safe. It'll wiggle a little. This is a bag phone, or what is left of one. Um, I am interested to hear anything that you guys know about it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, learning about bag phones or at least the one that I have. Uh, it's uh, no longer uh, usable uh, since uh, uh, 2016, I believe, is when all of the radios for this specific kind were shut down from the bit of research that I could do. Uh, if any of you have any more information about it, please go ahead and let me know uh, in the comments below because I, like I said, researching it, I could find one eBay listing and then one other listing on a website and that was about it for this model. Uh, there are more popular models, uh, but uh, this is the one I have. So, uh, But thank you very much for watching, and as always, play on!